So here's an AP Physics 1 conceptual question which deals with energy and work. The situation involves a box or crate sliding down an inclined plane and to prevent this box from sliding down and accelerating to keep it moving at a constant velocity, there's somebody pushing back up on the box so it maintains a constant velocity as it slides down the incline. So the velocity at the beginning or point A, we'll just call some general velocity V, is the same as the velocity that it has at the bottom. Okay. Uh, we're going to consider the system, the crate, and the earth, and the ramp, and we're going to assume that friction is present. The question that we're going to try to answer is, uh, during its trip to the bottom, is the thermal energy created in the ramp and crate greater than, less than, or equal to the crate's loss of gravitational potential energy? And explain. So we know the crate is losing gravitational potential energy because it starts at some positive vertical position y and in the end it reaches a final vertical position of zero and if there's friction present as the crate slides down the inclined plane there's going to be some uh, energy lost to thermal energy because of friction things are going to heat up and so the question is the amount of energy that's lost due to the friction the thermal energy created how does that compare to the amount of gravitational energy lost well Let's look at this situation and try to make an energy bar graph to help us think about what's going on. So in the very beginning, <clears throat> there's kinetic energy because the box is moving, and there's some gravitational energy because it's at some vertical height y. There's no spring potential energy because there's no compressed or stretched or springs or deformed material. And we're going to define our system as the crate, the earth, and the ramp. In the very, very end, there's no kinetic energy. Be sorry, there is kinetic energy because it's still moving, and it's the same amount of kinetic energy in the end as there, in, as there is in the beginning because it's the same mass crate, and it's moving at the same velocity. It has no gravitational potential energy because it's at a height of zero. There's, again, no spring potential energy, but there's some, some thermal energy created because of friction. Well. Notice we've got a lot of gravitational energy, a little bit of kinetic that's the same, and some thermal energy. Uh, there's less energy in the end than there is in the beginning. That's because energy was transferred out of our system by negative work. Well, let's think about well, what does it mean energy is transferred out of the system? There's a person pushing with a force in the opposite direction up the ramp as the crate's displacement, which is down the ramp, and if the crate is feeling an external force backwards as it's moving forwards, that means this person is transferring energy out of the system. There's negative work being done. So we'd say that there is energy leaving our system or transferred out, and this negative work is being done on the crate by the person. That's because the exerted force was parallel and opposite to the crate's displacement. So the kinetic energy remained the same, so there's no change in kinetic energy, but there's a big loss in gravitational potential energy, and some of that energy in the end is stored as thermal energy. And so if we look at our energy conservation equation, which we can get from our energy bar graph, is that the kinetic energy in the beginning plus the gravitational energy minus the work done or the energy transferred out is equal to the final kinetic energy plus the final thermal energy, which is at point B. But remember, the box was moving down at a constant velocity, so the velocity at A is equal to the velocity at B, which means the kinetic energy in the beginning is equal to the kinetic energy in the end. So if those kinetic energies are the same value, then in this equation, we can just cancel those things out. We subtract the kinetic energy from each side, and we get a simplified version of our energy conservation equation, which says that the gravitational energy we started with minus the work that was done, the energy transferred out, is equal to the thermal energy we have left. If we look back at our energy bar chart, we can see that the gravitational energy we started with, four bars, minus the three bars of work done, is equal to the thermal energy left in the end. And so if we have to subtract the work done by, fr by the person, the negative work, from the gravitational energy to get thermal energy, 
That means the thermal energy stored in the end has to be less than the gravitational energy we started with, which if that goes down to zero, that's also the change in gravitational potential energy.